You know, I'm going to say this now, because I wasn't thinking of making a short for this or a video in general, but what the hell, I'm going to say it. I know people are probably questioning, am I going to change my way of life, my way of thinking, because of YouTube and their stupidity of ignorance. Hell no. I've seen their uh, statement of demonetizing every video. If you use a swear word, like the F-bomb, and so many others. I say, screw you, YouTube. <laughs> I'm a, almost a 30-year-old man. You think I'm going to play you know, little kitty games here with you? Hell no. I have more brains than your fucking CEO. And yeah, I said it. I say the F-bomb. I ain't afraid to say it. If I have to play these little games with you to think that it's going to make you feel better because you want more advertisements, ouch. Because here's your failure, YouTube. I can understand. The dislikes don't matter. I mean, what was there going to be losing for you? You take them out, you ain't going to lose no money. But here's your problem. When you start doing with advertisements and want to play, I want to cut off my balls and be a coward. Because someone says a little F-bomb here and there. Or says the S-word. We all know what those words are. We all know what it is. We're not scared to say it. I mean, 99% of us are probably 30-year-olds or up. That's what YouTube is meant for. We're not YouTube kids. Why the hell did you make that damn platform if you're going to treat this as YouTube kids? Fuck, YouTube. Wake the hell up. You've got two different platforms. Meant for kids and not. This platform is not meant for kids. <laughs> but besides the point, if you're going to play these little games, so be it. I don't care. Because you know what's really going to fuck you in the ass. I'm going to say it. Taking out every advertisement off of every video. This is a benefit to me. You want to take them off because I have a little F-bomb or a little swear word because you're hurt. Your heart's hurting. Oh, I'm so scared. I hate these words. Oh, I'm a CEO with a billion dollar home. I have to cry my eyes. Oh, suck it, you piece of shit. Literally, I say screw that. You know what? If I was you, Miss CEO, and that's what you are, you're a woman, I'll tell you straight up. Be a woman of culture, be a woman with that money. Show them that you can run this company called YouTube just like any other company should. I mean, I get it. Elon Musk, he may have his problems, but at least he has the balls to stand up to all these other corporations and say, it's my company, my word. If you don't like it, well, go walk away. Here's your two feet. If YouTube can't grow some brains to think maybe that's a logical business strategy and have to cower between every advertisement guru, there's some serious problems. And this is going to kill YouTube. Don't get me wrong. Take out every advertisement, it's going to hurt the revenue. Oh, I'm so in so much pain because they're going to lose billions. Ah. Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. I don't care if YouTube loses thousands trillions of dollars they could be dang poor but in the long scheme of thing if youtube loses all their money because of their stupidity who is there to blame i have already stated if it wasn't because of us creators us that fork on this platform to make them money youtube would be a dying breed like every other company we have seen in the past they're going to be a relic and that's about it it's up to them to keep us going. If YouTube can't accept that, well, who is there to blame? But the CEO, the billionaires. You should put yourself private, YouTube. Make yourself a company worthy. Not make yourself a coward like Disney that is dying in every step of the way. I mean, haven't you already heard? Even The Rock, he's a rich actor. They have done billions of movies. He's literally telling Disney, I ain't doing no more. And he cut them off. Are you going to be like that, YouTube? Be a coward 
against everyone else? Are you going to stand up and say, I'm not no coward, and I'm going to be my own platform? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's your business at the end of the day. But what I'm seeing when you're saying we have to uh, cut off advertisements because a little F-bomb, or any cuss words for that matter, <laughs> I see a coward hiding under her desk that don't deserve this position of a CEO. If you really want a true man that can run your company, call me up. You probably can find my number, Google. I would take over her spot and make this company great again. I don't have to have any experience. I don't even know I can do it. And that's saying a lot. Because here's the thing. If you really want a real person that can run YouTube and make it great again, Trust me, I have been there since I was a little kid. I have seen YouTube from its highest point to its lowest now. It needs a new management. Yeah, just like Twitter did, I think YouTube is about to have a new management eventually. If it keeps going down this rabbit hole. Sorry about this little rant, everyone. I had to put it out there. But no, I ain't changing my words. I'm almost a 30-year-old man. Do I have to play this kitty games with YouTube? Heck no. I play my own rules. And here's the thing. I do obey YouTube's rules. But if I have to say, uh, you know, be a coward and say, be a little kid and not say any bad words because I want money. Screw that. Advertisements are not worth it. They're just a pain. And if I have to bend to their whim, then it ain't worth it, is it? I don't care what business you run. You don't deserve any advertisements on a platform if we have to bend to their whim. It should be the other way around. Because without YouTube, and YouTube should see this and realize it, their business will be going under. Without people giving, you know, paying for their ads, there will be no business. Hmm. Maybe YouTube is thinking of this wrong. You think? Or maybe YouTube is just that much of a coward and they can't stand up for their own company.